Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. We got a cool video in store for you today, which is what? Green fish. Green fish. Now, this is not as easy as it might sound. You would think in nature there'd be lots of green fish, maybe it would offer some camel. There are quite a few green fish, at least they're labeled that way. Not all of them are actually green. So we're gonna give you the best green ones and we're also gonna point out some ones that say they're green and it's a major letdown. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so the first fish, obviously, for those of you who have been watching the channel for any time, you know the fish that I'm gonna mention. The green neon. Oh, so beautiful. And that color is, is literally like a neon green light, especially when they're zooming back and forth in the tank. You just can't beat it. And it really pops. Even if you have a heavily planted tank, it gives an extra little neon green and the cool thing about the green neon isn't so much that you see a lot of green in any one fish but as joanne just said when you keep a lot of green neons together you get quite an interesting green big giant green streak of fish swimming across your tank now the next one on our list is kind of a controversial fish in fact we did a video about this type of fish before i'll put it up here in the right hand corner that's the glowfish now i know before you get angry and say, oh, I, I don't do glowfish, or maybe like some of you are like, I love glowfish. The point of the video is there are fish that are green, and glowfish often come in a green color. Whether you like them or not, they are an option for those who are seeking to add a little bit of green to their tank. And it'd be a very bright and vibrant green. You got everything from the glow light tetras to glow light daniels, even the glow bettas can be green. And now, of course, that you're speaking of bettas, that's the next one on our list. Yes, bettas come in a lot of different colors. I do believe the rarest color is purple, but I have had uh, greens. Sometimes they're almost like a greenish blue. They're frequently mixed with other colors. The one I had was white with greenish blue fins. Really beautiful. Um, if you like green fish, definitely check out your betta selection. And of course, the nice thing about a betta is you're getting into a fish that could be the centerpiece for your tank, and it adds a nice green shimmer. The next one on the list is a little bit unusual, and that are some of the goodyids. We've actually had some goodyids. They're a cooler water fish, and so if you're looking for a fish that is in an unheated tank, some of these fish can be a greenish color to them. We like them quite a bit. A lot of them are on the, the cares list, which means that they're endangered in their natural habitats. And so it's always good to try to keep fish that are struggling in nature. Now, another green fish that I currently have are the tiger limia, adorable little fish. They are kind of, I would say, a yellowish green color. But if you are looking for a green, definitely consider them. Fun little community fish, very peaceful. And we've done a species profile on this fish. They're great because not only do you get the green, you also get the black vertical bars and they are a live bear. So in many ways they behave like your guppies, your endlers, your platies, your mollies. And they are a wonderful community fish. And they're also fun to watch breed. The next one on the list is one that is quite common and one I'm sure you're waiting for us to say, and that is the green tiger barb. Unlike the regular tiger barb, these green tiger barbs have a fair amount of green. So if you're looking to add green, that can be a great option. Now you would probably want a larger tank and a very large group of these green tiger barbs to cut down on the aggression and the fin nipping, but they can be a cool fish in the right environment. Now for another type of fish, the quarry cat. There is green quarry cats. So if you're looking for a little green, you might as well put some at the bottom of your tank and also have fun watching a group of green quarries. Now I will say with the green quarries, they tend to show a little bit more green on that tan to lighter substrate. If you go very dark, they're probably going to darken up quite a bit and lose some of that green hue that they typically have. Another really cool fish, if you're looking for something more on the cleanup side, is of course the green phantom pleco. These plecos, they're high end, they're going to get expensive, they get a little bit larger, but the green on these fish is really something to behold, and the larger they get, the more they show it. It's an awesome fish. Now yes, as most high end plecos often do, they usually hide quite a bit, but when you see them, they're pretty cool. Now for those of you looking for something besides fish, you can check out some shrimp. They are green jade shrimp, which would be really cool. Fun little different color to add to your tank. The cool thing about shrimp is they come in all kinds of different colors. You got the reds, yes. the yellows, the oranges, the blues, and of course the greens. And they're gonna be a great little workforce in your tank, picking away at algae and surfaces. As long as you have the right tank and fish not large enough to eat them, they would be a great addition. 
Now the fish that we've mentioned so far tend to be more on the community side. We've got a couple options for you if you're looking for a larger centerpiece fish, maybe even a cichlid. You've got one that we've had in the fish room a number of times. The green severum. The green severums are great. Now I will say when I did the species profile on severums, I mentioned in that video that the green severums tend to be, at least in our experience, the most aggressive of all the severums. And a lot of people agreed with that and you're gonna want a larger tank for the green severums because they can get quite large. But overall, they are a relatively mildly aggressive cichlid. They're certainly not nearly as aggressive as a lot of the African cichlids that you would see or a lot of the other larger South and Central American cichlids that you would normally keep. But this is a great fish if you've got a larger tank. Maybe not the best if you want a planted tank because they will often shred them and make salads out of your plants, but it's a really cool fish. The other one, and this is a newer fish, and we just saw this fish in real life at the last GCCA swap. We're starting to see green angels. Now these angel fish are not like a bright green, like the green phantom pleco or anything like that, but they do have a green hue and I'll be very interested, interested to see as we get through the selective breeding process, how green they can make these fish. Another fish to keep in mind if you're looking for something very different, bluegill. The name says bluegill, but the fish, generally speaking, when you put them in a tank are mostly green. They pretty much behave like cichlids. I don't think people realize if they try to keep bluegill in a fish tank, how challenging it can be. This is certainly not a fish for a beginner. You need a large tank with a big group. They behave, like I said, a lot like more aggressive cichlids, but they are basically green when you put them in the tank. Some may even say boring, but they can be a cool fish if you are experienced enough to keep them successfully. Now there are a couple of fish that have green in the name and I think we were fairly disappointed with the amount of green that were actually in these fish, one of which we still have in the fish room and that is the green dragon pleco, not to be confused with the green phantom pleco. Those are green. The green dragons I would say are more like a not quite your typical brown, maybe more of a gray, but certainly not like some deep blue green. Maybe some of you have a strain that is. We don't. Ours are kind of a muted, muddy, greenish gray. Like an army green. Like not even like an, really army, an army, army green, green gray. And <laughs> they just, yeah, they're, they're not really very stunning. Well, and the other one. Oh, they're cool. I disagree. They're very cool, but they're not really super green. No, absolutely not. The other one would be the green cobra guppy. The green right? cobra guppy, yeah, it's got a little bit of green, kind of green, but I felt like it was more yellowy-ish green with some black accents, but it wasn't something like, I need a green fish and this thing's really gonna pop in my tank. That really wasn't the case. And for a lot of, for in a lot of cases, the green fish are a little bit more muted. So that, those were the green fish options. Now we've done videos on orange fish before, Mm -hmm. and white fish. So if you're looking for more types of color options for your tank, check out the description below if you want more information on some species profiles from some of the fish that we've mentioned. We'll have all of those in the description below. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so yeah, after all that, we forgot one. We just sat down real quick. I didn't even shut the filters off. I'm walking around the fish room, turning off the lights, getting everything back because it's the middle of the day when we're shooting this video. And I was like, oh, we forgot one. And what one was that? The brilliant green rasbora. They're brilliant and they're green. And they're truly green. And I talk about them all the time as one of my favorite rasboras. <laughs> they're sitting in a 29 gallon right behind us. So add that one to your list. Great community fish, gets about two inches. They school amazingly. You get a big giant group of them. They get along with just about everybody. They're not very expensive. It's a great fish. Definitely add that one to the list.